Eat my lambs. He saith to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Jesus saith unto him, Feed my sheep. Hello everybody out there. Uh, coming to you today to make another video. This is the tittle of the day for July 17th, 2014. And what I want to speak about today is... Um, where does torment in your mind and in your emotions come from? Okay, because um, even a lot of believers, you know, they'll have a lot of torment in their lives, and and they they believe and they love Jesus, and and um, they try to do good, but something inside of them they're they're still not as happy. Or have you ever been to a church and you'll see know somebody who's been going to that church for fifty, sixty years, but they're always just just sour faced you know just just mad seems like they're mad at the world even though they've had Jesus for more than times than you've been alive you know and I kind of want to show what I believe a lot of that comes from so let's start at James 4 1 through 3 um, from whence come wars and fights fightings among you come they not hence even of your lusts that war in your members ye lust and have not ye kill and desire to have and cannot obtain ye fight in war yet ye have not because ye ask not ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may uh, consume it upon your own lust and now we know that it says here in verse 2 that uh, ye lust and have not ye kill and desire to have but cannot obtain okay we know that Jesus said that if you even hate your brother that you've committed murder in your mind right that just by by hating them okay so that's here what james is talking about he's not talking about literally the killing and the fighting and warring he's like it's the emotions that are going on inside of you it is why you don't get what you want because usually you're asking for things that you don't want out of your own lust and it's not in god's will all right so so just kind of think about that about uh torment and the emotions and um and thinking bad about somebody else another brother or unbeliever uh, Matthew eighteen twenty one through 35 then came Peter to him and said lo how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him till seven times Jesus said unto him I say unto thee um, until seven times but until seventy times seven therefore the kingdom of heaven liken unto a certain king which would take account of his servants and when he had uh, begun to reckon, one was brought unto him, which owed him ten thousand talents. And forasmuch as he had not to pay, um, as Lord commanded him to be sold, and his wife, and the children, and all that he had, and payment to be made, um, the servant therefore fell down and worshipped him, saying, Lord, have patience with me, and I will pay uh, thee all. Then the Lord of that servant was moved with compassion and loosened him and forgave him the debt. But the same servant went out and found one of his fellow servants, which owed him uh, a hundred pence, and he laid hands on him and took him by the throat, saying, Pay me that thou owest. And his fellow servant fell down at his feet and besought him, um, saying, Have patience with me, I will pay thee, thee all. And he would not, but went and cast him into prison till he uh, should pay the debt. So when his uh, fellow servant saw that was done, they were very sorry and came and told unto their Lord all that was done. Then his Lord, after that, he had called him and said unto him O oh, thou wicked servant I forgave thee all that debt right that's what Jesus did for us because thou desirest me because you asked because you believed um, shouldest not thou also have compassion on thy fellow servants even as I had pity on thee and his Lord was wroth and delivered him to the tormentors 
till he should pay all that was due unto him. So likewise shall my heavenly Father do also unto you, if you from your heart forgive not everyone his brother their trespasses. Okay? So, um, where does the torment in yourself come from? It comes from unforgiveness. It comes because you won't... Um, Forgive somebody who's done something to you in your past or somebody who's doing something to you in your right now, a brother or a sister. Now, I'm not saying you have to be best friends with this person. You don't have to like them and have fuzzy feelings about them inside, okay? But you are to forgive them in your heart and have the spirit of forgiveness um, for that person, okay? Um, I don't believe you got to be best friends with them and go, you know, and hug them and all that kind of stuff. It's more or less inside of you. Ask God to take that bitterness out of your heart and put the spirit of forgiveness inside of your heart, okay? Now, the tormentors, here we see that if you don't have forgiveness, that God turns you over to the tormentors. He allows these evil spirits or Satan himself to come and torment you. And, and, and make you have these horrible feelings. And that's biblical. We see it with, with King Saul. Uh, and, uh, the Lord sent an unclean spirit to him. And, and there's other cases too in the Old Testament. I believe it's in Kings um, or Chronicles where um, the Lord sends. He's like, what, what am I to do with this king? And, and one of the unclean spirits says, let me go to him and I'll do this and do that and see if he'll change his ways. And the Lord says, fine, go do that. Right? Same thing with Job. You know, Satan is like, well, let me do this, let me do that. And the Lord says, okay, but don't, you know, he puts rules on it. But if you don't have unforgiveness in your heart and Jesus forgave you so much, those tormentors will come to you and make you miserable in your life, even if you're a, a, a believer. Okay, so what, do we, what are we to do about that then? Uh, forgive everyone no matter what. No matter what they've done to you in your life, you have to forgive them. Look at Luke 11, 4. And forgive us our sins, for we, we, for we also forgive everyone that is indebted to us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Okay? You see? The forgiveness of the sins that somebody else has done against you delivers you from evil of the tormentors. Uh, Matthew oh, went too far. Matthew five twenty one through twenty six. Ye have heard that it is said um, of them of old times, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother um, without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment, and whosoever shall say to his brother Rika um, shall be in danger of counsel. But whosoever shall say thy fool shall be in danger of hellfire. Now, that to me, I was reading on my Facebook page, somebody that I really like is Rob Skiba, and I started seeing, um, he'll put a post on there and then all these people post after him. And I saw this one guy who was on there and he just made a, a comment and he had a comment about the church and something else. And these people attacked him. They were like, you can't say the church. Church is a Babylonian word, and you, do, do, do. you need to get out of this Bible and read this and learn Hebrew and do all this and do all that, which I believe is a good thing. But it can turn you into a Gnostic, you know, to where you, you're puffed up with knowledge, and you believe that you've got this secret knowledge that everybody else doesn't have and that it makes you smarter and closer to God. That's not necessarily true. For one thing, God says, Jesus says, the more that you learn, the higher standard you're held to, okay? So if you're learning all this and then you're po pointing your finger at somebody else and, and putting them down because they don't know these things, you're not coming in a loving, meek way to teach them. And, and you're held at, at higher uh, judgment for that, okay? Um, it, and it's nothing's wrong with just staying in the milk. Not everyone is going to go deep and eat the meat and everything. You know, they're not going to do it. Uh, most people don't even read their Bible. So if you point fingers at somebody because you don't think that, you think that they're a fool, then Jesus is saying right here, if you say, call somebody a fool, you're in danger of hellfire because of that. All right? Um, verse 23, Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and, and there rem remembrance thou thy brother hath thought against thee <laughs> leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way uh, first be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift 
agree with thine adversary quickly. Who's the adversary? Satan. While uh, whilst thou art in the way with him, least at, at any time the adversary deliver you to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto you, um, thou shalt by no means come out hence till thou hast paid um, the utmost uh, feathering. Okay, so if you're not don't have forgiveness in your heart and you're 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 using you're thinking about you know hating somebody in your mind and all that, Jesus is saying right here that it's 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 um, that it's it's like murder, you know. Um, whosoever is angry with his brother without cause is in danger of judgment. So if you don't have a, a real cause, which really there's no cause in it, you know, because you're supposed to forgive no matter what. And um, so we want to forgive no matter what and and love and love everyone because love forgives all. Love forgives all. We see that in 1 John four sixteen, And we have known and believe the love that God hath to us. God is love. And he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God. And God in him. Okay? So if you have forgiveness inside yourself and you have love inside yourself, you know you definitely have God inside yourself. And those are the emotions that you want. If you're bitter, if you're feeling tormented, if you're unforgiving... Um, then you, most likely you, you don't have God dwelling in you then. You've got Satan or some unclean spirits dwelling in you, making you feel these things. Okay, And that's not something that people will go, oh, Satan's not in me, I'm a believer. Well, Peter walked with Jesus, and Satan was in Peter, right? Because Jesus even said, get behind me, Satan. Okay, So we're not any better than Peter, are we? Okay, And, and he denied Christ three times, and, and so... All those, all, everything that's written is for an example, right? So Satan can come into a believer and corrupt their minds and get them to do things that they don't necessarily need to do. Don't have anything to do with their salvation, but he can corrupt the, the mental aspect of it and, and make your life destructive. Um, and then to end it, uh, 1 Peter 4, 8. And above all things, have fervent charity amongst yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. Love covers sins. Okay. So you don't want to gossip and be angry and unforgiving with somebody. You want to cover that sin with love. Okay. All right. Well, that's the tittle of the day. Um, hope you all enjoyed it. Hope it's a blessing to you all out there. Uh, uh, wake and watch for Yeshua. God is love and I love God. Amen.